if you watch my video them on Instagram, a lot of them are when me react to my mother's voice. Well, hello, you reach home. Man, I yard. Man, I feel like him have help in here. The reason why I do that is because I never used to say nothing. Because <laughs> you weren't allowed to. Yeah. Because why? You when chat, chat, me does. And the funny thing is, when me now say nothing, she used to tell me if I say something, then when, she, when, when me say something, she said, shut up. Actor, comedian, entertainer, Dale Elliott. Thanks so much for joining me on the BG Show. Yeah, man. Respect, Mr. Brandon. All the way from Yard. Yes, yes. Well, me live, me live in the United States now, but yeah, from Yard. Kingston. Yeah. And I'm sitting with the president of the Gallus Department. Um, I'm not the president. You're not the president? No, I'm not the president. But I like the, I like, I like the brand. I like the materials. So yeah. Weird. And so are you the core. CFO or? No, I am the, I'm the <laughs> consumer. I will okay. buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So welcome to Toronto. How, how's the vibes treating you so far? You know, me like Canada. I've been my father Canada from like oh, 2019. Yeah. There at least once, twice a year. Over here, different from the States and Wh Jamaica. What's so the biggest difference you think? Bag milk. <laughs> you don't like bag milk? No, me just not understand it. <laughs> Why not? You buy the milk in the bag for put it in one container for still keep it in the bag. <laughs> For pour it in a the, no, for pour it in a container. Yeah. So why the milk in our bag? That's a good question. I've never really thought about that. Yeah, everybody, you know, Jamaica have bag juice. Yeah. America have bag pack. Yeah. You know, have bag milk. I <laughs> 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 like the things that were like synonymous to Canada, like the, the Tim Martins. Mm -hmm. You know, that are like, that come like McDonald's. I feel like Tim Martins follow me everywhere I go. Yeah, you, what do you get? A peppermint tea? No, man. Let me tell you what I get at Tim Martins. I get them have, a, them have the, the vanilla, them have a French vanilla. I always get the French vanilla yeah. and the chicken sandwich. Mm. Yeah, but them always, them they everywhere. I feel like Tim Martins actually follow me. Everywhere we go, yeah, uh, it's our biggest, it's our biggest like fast food chain. There is never a time when we look through the window and mm -hmm. we now see a Tim Martin sign. Mm -hmm. Me feel like ah yeah, so me know a Canada me there. Yeah, like if me did last and wake up, yeah, and look through the window and see a Tim, me say ah me there a Canada. Yeah, so. I like how you say you say you know because we say Tim Hortons yeah. or Tim's, yeah. like Tim Hortons. Yeah, Tim Hortons. That sounds much better. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Hortons. So so weird. So 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 me I say this wrong then Scarborough. Ooh. That's very wrong. Try one more time. Scarborough. Scarborough. No, sir. <laughs> Yo, Scarborough. Look go Scarborough. So how do you say Mississauga? Mississauga. Okay. Right. No, that's not hard to say. Yeah. Scarborough kind of, you know, rough. Yeah. Yeah. Scarborough. Depending where you are. I know if I say something good, though, when I practice. Mm -hmm. Practice is long. Etobicoke. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> but why you put on a little accent there? He said, he said, he said, he said, say it one more time. <laughs> Etobicoke. Yeah. Nobody can. I'm not getting that one there wrong, though. That's your call center voice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. And welcome to Etobicoke. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I love about you? You this this smile that I have right now from cheek to cheek. Yeah. Like that's what you make so many people feel. Yeah. When they watch your content. I wanna know, like, how the heck did you get into comedy? Like, were you born out of the womb just giving out jokes? Yo, you know, say because I grew up with Walipa. So I grew up with both sides of my family. Mm -hmm. So my both with grand grew up with grandparents. Right. Me had like the original barrel pitney. Mm. So you see. I don't know if you're born here, mm -hmm. but me was the parents, me was the pitney where mother and father live a foreign. Right. So I live with grandparents. Yes. So I have one side of family, extended family. Mm -hmm. I live with cousin, auntie, mad uncle. Like, Not the mad uncle. No, man. Fully, fully mad in a life. Like injection mad every month. Oh. Like three. Yeah. So I grew up around so much drama mm -hmm. every day. Me. It just become like natural. Mm -hmm. for, 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 so me can take the worst situation out of it and, and, and get fun out of it. Because mm -hmm. I get used to it so much. We never have much. Mm -hmm. But we could have sit down and laugh every day. Mm -hmm. Like I find the gully bank, sit up on the gully bank, we chat and talk, we laugh, the cork head where I pass. <laughs> you know, we make a joke about him. You know, me, me, me know me and the cork head my friend, Jabba, <laughs> Marcia, BZ, $10 like, me and them are like bridging. I have so much things for like laugh, bro. Yeah. And then I go to my grandmother and then she discipline. Mm -hmm. My other grandmother. Yeah. Discipline. Um, tell her what time for come in. So I get the discipline side of things mm -hmm. from her. And then the comedic side, I get it off of my experiences with my extended family. It teach me for, 
for be for enjoy myself yeah. now anything I do so when me did good in a track and field me did always have the personality the full full personality the quirky what me I do now mm-hmm. when me I go university in you know, my presentation them me always insert my personality you like to see people happy people smile True. when you're telling the story like you want to see a reaction from somebody yeah but me can't be an asshole oh Oh, so? Me can say that pan, pan ear. You can say whatever you want no, here. No, no, not really. But what me <laughs> say, me, me can be an asshole, as in, my personality kind of... So, like, me can be good today, mm-hmm. and then, like, me can just know in the mood. But that's every Jamaican. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my grandmother caused that. <laughs> my grandmother made that. So, it, it, it's, a, it's give and take. It almost feels like comedy was almost a healing mechanism for you. You ever poor, I don't know you're poor. Well, I don't know if you, you never really, you never No, no, I grew up from humble beginnings. Oh. So I, oh, I know, so I know things look great now, yeah, exactly. but we hey. had to fight, climb, climb. Yeah, so it's like, you know, when you don't know, as yeah. a child, when you don't know, yeah. what your reality mm-hmm. define you as a person. So, it never being funny or comedic was something that was just always a part of me. Mm-hmm. I never something with it for like work, pan, you know, it just always, it just come natural to me it's so crazy because there's so many comedians and entertainers that come out of the caribbean specifically jamaica yeah like who were you know growing up who were your top comedians that you looked up to honestly so when we just come out when we just start watching videos i used to watch king bash but he never come out of jamaica mm-hmm. um there's trabas mm-hmm. andrew trabas was the first person i actually see and um white yardy yeah funny enough Mick Fly, that dude, Mick Fly, Marlon. Yeah, Marlon Palmer. I used to watch Marlon videos a lot yeah. when I was younger. Even though I still, me and him follow each other and everything. So, yeah. it, because I so, me grew up, social media grew me. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a millennial too. We grew mm-hmm. up in it. So, probably <laughs> from like, yeah, we, we grew up in it. I'm sure you're, a, you're not I a thought millennial. you said melanin, but you said millennial. <laughs> millennial. Me- millennial. I had to burn that one back just to make sure. My bad. Yeah. So social media grew me, so me see. Me have a lot of me can me have inspiration from all kind of people. You do so many things. Yeah. Right? It's not just comedy. You me also try. do acting, right? Like yeah. you were just in that film Sprinter. Sprinter. You have to try. How was that experience for you? It it acting just like mm-hmm. with the comedy thing. Me never like go school for act. Me never no. The producer called me mm-hmm. and say yo come do an audition. Him give me the script. Never read it. <laughs> so you just did improv? No, man. So it's like, me, <laughs> it's supposed to reach like, him say, yo, 10 o'clock. Father Cynicum, 10 o'clock. Yeah. 9.30, me I drive, I read the paper. I say, all right. Them really, come with me, say, two page? Mm-hmm. Man. <laughs> then him realize, say, me not read it. <laughs> <laughs> my father's like, you know, going in the bathroom, try, you know, when you study at school, you yeah. just scrap things. And it, it work. <laughs> The director himself, mm-hmm. him teach me something. Him tell us, him tell me say, you see anything we are doing in our life? Yeah. Less is more. Mm. So, acting. If you try act, it a go look fake. Mm. If me try come pan live right now mm-hmm. and be somebody we meet, we meet not, it would look fake. Yeah. So during sprinter, me just do that be myself. If you watch my video them on Instagram, a lot of them are when me react to my mother's voice. Yeah. The reason why I do that is because I never used to say nothing. Because <laughs> you weren't allowed to. Yeah. Because why? You when she had chat, me just, and the funny thing is, when I now say nothing, she used to tell me if I say something, then when, she's, when, when I say something, she said, shut up. <laughs> so I never, I did between a rock and a hard place. So every time <laughs> when they watch my video, them, I look confused. <laughs> because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to react. I don't know if I feel like, me used to have like nightmare. I don't know what to say. Like when she happy, mm. me don't know if you say, yo, <laughs> you know, nothing. So like it, it, it happened now that if me see somebody mm-hmm. and them sad, like you see that aspect of growing up there where you get like console, like you cry and mm-hmm. you get a little hug and when somebody a ball in front of me, me don't even know if you do me. I said, John, no. Me don't know if I tell them hush. Me no. Do you feel like... <laughs> me never grow like that. <laughs> I'm literally... I'm living <laughs> like this is. I exactly understand yeah. everything that you're talking me never, about. Right me never, now. me never, me never grew up and say, "Oh, good luck next time." Right. <laughs> me never get them. Me never get them. Them like upliftment <laughs> thing there yet. Me just, just do it and it, it just work. And it work, work and you just make it work. Watch it. Watch it. Take time. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! You want to kill me off? 
Tech time deal. Jesus Christ, I saw you drive one minute on the car. Because your comedy is so much based off of like, yeah, your upbringing. Yeah. What does your mom think about your comedy? All right, this is the funny thing, you know. So <laughs> my mother, the older, me really mm. know my mother, the older mm. me get. Mm-hmm. So me used to just talk to her over the phone. But because of social media, now me can't like see her. Mm-hmm. And me I realize, say, you ever, not their own parent, but you realize is your parent. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, say, yo, I the same thing me would have do her. I the same thing me that say. I see him with me that act foo fool. I mean, I said, John, no, my mother foo fool too. <laughs> Like, my mother fool fool, my auntie fool fool, my grandmother fool fool. Like, all of us actually fool fool. I come from a fool fool family. <laughs> Both sides. So, me, when I'm there with my father, yeah. you ever meet somebody, I meet my father for the first time, I see the man at walk, I come out of the airport, mm-hmm. I mean, I say, I'm a father that you know. Because we walk the same way. I mean, I say, I don't mean, see that man from me like four years old. Why me and I walk the same way? <laughs> so, it's just... Jeans. Them say when yeah. your mother or father make you out of love, mm-hmm. you turn around, you look like them, yeah. you act like them, whether you like it or not. Mm-hmm. So the same, the same way of my grandmother, miserable, <laughs> have the nice personality. I just me that. <laughs> yeah, me just. And she's okay with you calling her miserable now. Miserable. She can't beat me now. <laughs> she can't beat me now, you know. When Mister, Tell. when Mister she can't beat me, no, she can't beat me like right here. Right here, okay. Just wanted to clarify. Oh no, man, my grandmother. I've, <laughs> honestly, even my mother so much. My grandmother, yeah, still have the authority over me. Mm-hmm. No matter where me day in the world, me cannot. No matter where me at the right now, my grandmother can call me and say, "Deal, stop." <laughs> if me are walking, I me <laughs> like me I go stop because <laughs> I just me just have the the respect there. Fear, cause I did the only person mm-hmm. in my life mm-hmm. where was my disciplinarian. Yeah. That I'm a mother, mother. My mother, mother grew me like boot camp. The the discipline where she teach me, but me never used to like it. No, if me see the light on somewhere too long, it start itch me. I said, John, what the light be like? I look like. <laughs> Come, I'm so used to that. Yeah, being cognizant of those things. Like food, like, you know you get old. Mm-hmm. When you walk on the road and see something that tastes good. Mm-hmm. And you say, hmm, me have food at the house. Right. You say, no. I say, grandma, grandma calls that. Right. <laughs> when you look back at where you are now, like, do you think, are you grateful for that? No, me didn't me did need it, you know. Yeah. Me didn't get expelled from school, you know. Me used to go you did? Every, me, so the title of the show, the show mm-hmm. is Bad Pitney. Yeah. My grandmother, <laughs> me didn't have a name in my comment. They used yeah. to call me Devil. Yeah. For name Devil as a little Pitney, you know. That's, yeah, that's for very. The only thing worse is Lucifer. Yeah, yeah for very. <laughs> yeah, for being the worst. name Devil. Then them start calling me Evil Carnival because mm-hmm. me just as a Pitney growing up, my grandmother, my auntie, everybody say they has never seen. I live a specimen so rude mm-hmm. at such a young age. My upbringing different. The person me is today is not what me was, say, 15, 16. Mm. 15, 16, me just want to find somebody, fight. Me have got school, me have knife in my bag. Me just a different person. Yeah. And it have a lot to do with their environment. So it, it take the disciplinary and my other grandmother for she say, yo, the environment where I grew up in right now, mm-hmm. It build a character to a point now where a time for me take over. Because me used to live with the other grandmother first. Mm-hmm. Where they kinda she never me wouldn't say soft because some of my best years was with her. Mm-hmm. But the discipline side of things, the schoolwork, like she did do as much as she can. Mm-hmm. The other grandmother did have to take over from that. So I'm glad me get both. So I still manage to keep the rough side, the mm-hmm. gangster side, the the, me did need that. Me did need the street upbringing. Right. And then now uh, me get to switch it with the, the little the discipline. When you become an adult is when you see the like the, the fruits of the labor. When you see where them did a work pan, where them yeah. did a cook up. Because now me I make money off of them for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> for the rest of my life, me I make money off of them. That's some generational wealth. You're yeah, you can't that. you can't stop me. You you <laughs> you have become a meme. In my life, grandma, <laughs> you so, so, you, it's like you trouble me all of my life to the point where no me I make money off of you. <laughs> you can't know nothing about it. I'm you, just but love you're that. probably sharing it with her too. Me not have a choice? You have a choice? <laughs> no. Okay. 
You look like you, you think she asks? <laughs> she don't ask. She say, I come. As a matter of fact, you know. <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you know, I need some new glasses. <laughs> And I need to do my, I need to go check out my eye. Yeah. <coughs> and she just called me. I'm just no said deal. You have to figure out that way if you get it to her. So. Well, I mean, you're super popular. So. That super popular don't mean super money. <laughs> 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 so, you can super popular all you want. You can be super broke and super popular. That don't mean nothing. Right? I don't mean trade popularity for money any day. <laughs> any day. But you're doing what needs to be done, like your show, Bad Picnic. So for your fans that are going to come to the show, what can they expect? Yo, who not going to expect? You see the person where you see them right, just right now? Mm -hmm. That's the person who not going to see on the stage. All right. Stand-up comedy is something I always love. It's something I've been at practice all my life. Do you ever get nervous, though? Oh, you get nervous? Every I'm nervous right now. What? For real? Yeah. That's I why I talk about my parents so much. Because <laughs> when I'm nervous, I just remember them. So, you're yeah, often nerve, nerves in everything. Yeah. You must always be nervous. If you're not nervous, something is wrong. Me used to do track and field. Mm -hmm. Nothing what I do in my life since track and field mm -hmm. not give me the nerves what I feel right now. in a track and field. Oh, okay. So, doing track and field in a Jamaica, when you run, say you run a champs, mm -hmm. it's like 25, 30,000 people there are champs, you know? And is your ability... You can't blame somebody and, mm -hmm. and I say, yo, because of you make we lose or a you. Mm -hmm. I eat people in the lane. And I your so if you come last, I last it if you come. Mm -hmm. Third. So that level of nerves there, not in a life. No more no make me more nervous than on your marks. <laughs> set. So you see if me now do, if, if me now face that again, everything is good. We know you're gonna go on tour later on this year yeah. with White Yachty, but I go go, all right, so I do White Yard. I go do the shows this Sunday. Yes. Then I do I open for White Yard. Eh? Yeah. And then I go do my tour. Yes. And then now me like film. I have my own podcast, mm -hmm. Boss Years Podcast. Yeah. And where can people me, find it? Um, on YouTube. Yeah. So it's a uh, Dale Elliott TV. See, like how you have the Brandon Gonez show. Yes. Me need the Dale Elliott show. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, we can produce it. Me say, hey, we have a keeper and I go up and yeah. up. It always like that. I want to do a quick um, fireside questions with you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw some questions out. Mm -hmm. You can't think about it. You just have to tell us the answer. All right, then. Okay. Yeah. Who is your favorite reggae artist? Favorite reggae artist, Chronix. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Who is your favorite dancehall artist? Favorite dancehall artist, mm, Movado. Movado, my time, yeah. favorite artist. Before Movado, um, my favorite artists them I really like Super Cat and, and Shaba. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Outside of Jamaica, which is your favorite island? Um, Bahamas. Curry goat or oxtail? You know what I say? Oxtail. <laughs> yeah, Elliot, thank you so much for stopping by the show. Yeah, man. No for speaking of Brandon. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's BG and I want to know, what do you think about what you just watched? Make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments below, but also make sure to check out even more great content like this video and this video over here. And if you haven't subscribed to The Brandon Gona Show, do so right now by clicking this button right here.